Hey guys, Prince of Macedon here. I'm going to do a commentary video for Total War Rome 2. This would be a historical what-if battle. It's more of a what-if battle, more of a fictional what-if battle. Between the uh, Numidian army, represented here by Carthage of Jugurtha. Um, and this army represents the 20,000 strong and 84 elephants. Seen at the Battle of the Muthul River against Rome, where he was defeated. And the Scythian army here represents the 15,000 to 20,000 strong, uh, mainly a horse archer army, led by Satrakes that lost against Alexander the Great at the Jaxartes River. And that was uh, through 29 BC. And by the way, the uh, Numidian army here was uh, circa 108 BC. But uh, yeah, uh, as for the uh, Numidian composition, the only numbers given were uh, 20,000 strong plus 84 war elephants. I had to use a uh, guesswork to determine the exact composition. So I just guessed that they had about 8,000 uh, Numidian Cav and about 12,000 uh, foot units here. They might have had uh, archers and slingers, but it recorded that uh, um, Jugurtha did use them at some point. But I went with, um, with just uh, javelin men here, just to be on the safe side. So anyways, my opponent concentrated all of his uh, Numidian Cav in the front ranks, and he put the rest of his troops in that little valley there. But yeah, I used guesswork here, um, uh, you know, based on previous battles. Massinissa, who was uh, Jugurtha's uh, grandfather, he provided Rome with about uh, 4,000 uh, Numidian Cav. That was during the uh, Second Punic War. And uh, that was over in... Uh, 202 BC, that was the Battle of Zama. Um, and then later on in 46 BC, the Numidians provided uh, Labinius against Caesar at the Battle of the Respina with uh, 8,000 Numidian Cav. So that's how I came up with the number of 8,000 Cav. I just took the highest number of Numidian Cav that they had in any previous battle that I could find. I think they actually had 10,000 at another battle, but that seemed a little un unrealistic because uh, Jugurtha just had uh, united his, uh, his country here. So I went, with, uh, I went with a medium of 8,000. So, uh, as for the uh, Scythian army here, I went with the 8,000, or sorry, I went with 15,000 as the number to represent this army here. And uh, that was determined by Fred Eugene Ray Jr. in his book, his recent book, Greek and Macedonian Land Battles of the 4th Century BC. He came up with a number of 15,000 to 20,000 strong. So, roughly 15,000 strong. Scythians against 20,000 Numidians here. So I am slowly uh, and surely surrounding this army here of my opponent. See that? I'm just throwing a an envelopment screen over him. These are my horse archers up close. Some of you guys are big fans of the horse archers. How many of you are big fans of Jugurtha though? Yeah, Jugurtha fought against the Romans between uh, 112 BC and 106 BC. When he was um, on his way to taking power, he was able to uh, to calm Roman hostilities by bribing them, and that was a huge scandal to Rome at the time, that they could be bought off with uh, with bribes. Marius was definitely not a big fan of that. He would later fight against uh, Jugurtha. But uh, during uh, Jugurtha's usurpation, or whatever you call it, his uh, takeover of Numidia, at the uh, Siege of Serta, he was fighting against uh, Ad Harbel, one of his, uh, I guess you call him a brother, quote-unquote brother. Uh, he ended up killing some Italians who were defending that city, and that did not sit well with Rome. See, they had no more choice but to go to war against Jugurtha. That's how they eventually came to war against Jugurtha. But anyways, you can see more of my opponent's army here. I'm just showering these guys here. And here are the 84 war, elef war elephants of Jugurtha. But yeah, when uh, Rome finally went to war against uh, Jugurtha, they actually lost a few uh, pitch battles. But uh, yeah, when uh, Jugurtha, sorry, when Jugurtha could not fight against, uh, when he could not beat the Romans in a pitch battle, he relied on guerrilla warfare. So he was a very uh, shrewd commander who who used bribery, open field battle, and guerrilla warfare to accomplish his aims. So a very adaptable commander, and that is a sign of a great commander in my opinion. He ultimately lost though, through a treachery. Anyways, I see this opportunity with my uh, cab to come in and charge these uh, these uh, pelters here, so I, w I went for it. 
And he decides that now's the time to activate his uh, his war elephants here. So I'm going to try to retreat my guys, but at the same time I'm using all these guys to focus fire on these war elephants. So it's kind of hard to retreat your guys when they're stuck in combat with these uh, infantry troops, plus the elephants, but I'm trying to bring them back. And uh, you can see these elephants are start things start to go down, see that? Under the hell of the, uh, the Scythian horse archers here. But yeah, I, I'm drawing these guys into my little uh, noose here. Gonna let them hang themselves. I have these two units back here, pulling back, and he's gonna actually chase after them, which means you can see what I'm doing here. That means I can uh, push forward even farther and surround his guys even more. He's more envelopment. These guys are being outranged by my uh, horse archers. But the cool thing about these two factions, the Scythians were considered the uh, the finest, or at least one of the finest uh, light horsemen in their region, out in Asia. Whereas the uh, Numidians were considered the uh, the finest light horsemen in their region in Africa. So it's cool just to pit these guys against each other. So here's the tactical overhead. See, I've got that one unit just uh, falling back and he chases after them and that's make, letting my guys uh, just corner them over here. So these guys are now trapped like rats. A very uh, different uh, clash of uh, of tactics here. I mean, it's similar tactics, I suppose. Like both of them provide, uh, they, both of them <laughs> would have preferred to, uh, you know, ride around their opponents, retreating away from melee combat, and just showering their opponents. But the Scythians were using um, archery, whereas the uh, the Numidians preferred to. Uh, max out as many uh, jab cav as possible. Anyways, uh, I went for my, my opponent's general here with my general. So, uh, Jagurtha versus uh, Satchel Keys there. These guys finally break through this. They all break. That's the overhead. Oh, no overhead. Sorry. sorry. Um, so eventually I quartered my opponent. I used the range of my, uh, my horse archers to uh, triumph. But I, I really wanted to use the Numidians. I typically prefer to use the underdog faction in these matchups, but I could not find anybody who had Scythia as a faction. I tried five times, I could not find anybody. That's why I ended up using uh, the Scythians. I think the Scythians had a big advantage in this battle. Even though they were cheaper to buy, I still think their range was just too much for the uh, Numidians here. But I, I strongly would have preferred to fight as Numidia because of that. And um, me, I would have used a more combined arms approach. Um, in, my, in this battle, my opponent preferred to uh, fight separately. He first had his Nibidian Cav way out in the front and he put all of his elephants, general and his foot units way in the back. I would have just had them fighting in unison against the Scythian threat. That's how I would have done it. But uh yeah anyways uh both of these guys, Satrakes and uh Jugurtha, uh, lost. Satrakes lost against uh, the Macedonians of Alexander the Great at the Jaxartes in 329 BC. And uh, this particular um, Numidian army here, sorry, this one, they lost at the uh, Muthul River. That's what that's what this army represents, their army at the uh, Muthul River of 108 BC. But they fought many other, many more battles against the Romans, but I chose to use that particular setup. Because that one seemed to have, you know, the, uh, the most uh, concrete numbers available. 20,000 strong plus 84 war elephants. So, uh, that seemed to be the most tangible force, and I could work with that, those troops, with that number. And, uh, yeah, Jagurtha ended up losing the, uh, Juggerthine War, and he got paraded in a triumph, and he finally died of starvation while in Roman captivity. But, uh, yeah, he was, uh, the grandson of Massinissa. But, uh, anyways, who do you guys think would have won this matchup? Had these, um... Two commanders and armies had they been plucked with a time machine and uh, put on a uh, battlefield against each other. Who do you think? Anyways, uh, post your thoughts, and I'll see you guys later. And good game to my opponent, Damobra.